hey guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to show you the best way to set up and install facebook pixel in your blog or your website or in your sys page so that facebook can track your event and the purchase that customers carries out on your blog and this will enable you to stick get in contact with those customers who visited your sales page or your blog and they could not buy at the moment so facebook will be able to track them wherever they go because you have set up a facebook puzzle in your blog so in today's video i'm going to show you step by step how you can set up a facebook puzzle in your blog so that you can be able to track all your events that is happening on your sales page or on your store so today if you want to learn how to do this yourself installing Facebook pixel in your blog step by step I want to encourage you to stay and watch this video to the very end once again my name is Osa Quenes in Regina if this is your first time of visiting my youtube channel I teach about how to make money online I teach about blogging, I teach about affiliate marketing. So if this is your first time of coming to my YouTube channel, I want you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn the notification bell to all. So once I upload a new video, YouTube will get to inform you of my new upload because I've made a content, a table of content I will be feeding you my audience right here in my channel. So if this is your first time of visiting my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And turn the notification bell to all so once I upload a new video YouTube will get to notify you and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like so that YouTube will recommend this video to other guys so in my other video I talk about how to set up a Facebook business page and I'm sure by now you might have watched the video if you have not watched that video tutorial on how to set up a Facebook business page for your heart go and watch that video on my youtube channel so that facebook you'll be able to run a profitable facebook card once you'll be able to sell a create a facebook business page so let's assume you have already watched the video and you have a facebook business page and you have learned how to create that facebook business page so what you're going to do right now is to set up a facebook Pixel in your blog so that Facebook can track your invest. So once you come to your Facebook, as you can see, here is my Facebook account. This account I purposely use it for running Facebook ad. As you can see, that I'm currently running this ad. This ad belongs to me. I'm currently running this ad. So what you're going to do right now is go to Ad Manager. As you can see it right here, you click on Ad Manager. I'm going to set up your Facebook Pixel account. So I'm going to show you the best way to do it. So you click on Ad Manager. So it's loading. It's launching Ad Manager. As you can see it on the screen. So you go to Ad Manager. Here is my Ad Manager dashboard. As you can see, here's my Ad Manager dashboard. And this is how your ad manager dashboard should also look like. So what you're going to do is go to this three dash. You see this three dash? That is all tools. You click on it. Then it brings you to this page. Then you click Invent Manager. Click on Invent Manager as you can see. Yeah, here we have as you can see invent manager overview so I've actually started setting up a Facebook puzzle with this Facebook account so what I'm what you are going to do right now as you can see here is my puzzle Facebook puzzle code so what you're going to do when you come to your invent manager page this way then you click on this plus you see this plus you click on connect data source let's click on it and see you see because I've started it already so 
once you click on that page it's going to bring you to this page connect your website to share activity that occur online connect your app to share activity that occur in your app if you want to connect facebook pixel to your app or you want to track how people install your app this is what you should pick so but i've chosen this one that is why you see is i cannot click it anymore so what you're going to do in your own case you pick this web click this web then you click on connect but right now i'm not going to do that just click on connect then it will bring out the facebook piece for you then what i'm going to do i'm going to go back then i click here as you can see facebook piece i click on it as you can see it right here Yes, my Facebook page account. Then you see the page, the overview page. You can see it said your piso has not received any activity. This can happen when the piso base code is not installed correctly on your website. Finish the Facebook installation on your website, including adding events to start seeing activity. So you click on continue piso setup here we are it's a connect website activity using using piso so he said manually add piso code to website follow guide instructions follow guide installation instruction with detailed developer the de developer documentation or email instruction to your developer now here is what we're going to do we're going to install our code manually so you click this manually if you want instruction maybe you want to use a partner immigration this way you can check for partner but we're going to install our facebook page manually then you click install code manually wow here we are here is our code install base code the piso code is snaps of javascript that had to the harder section of your website the piso has two parts the base code and the vent code here we are say copy base code here is the base code of our piece here is our facebook piece that you click on this copy you see we have copied our code we have copied our code then we're going to go we copy our code then click on continue then as you have copied the code we go back to our website i've logged into my blog here is my blog i've logged into my blog i'm logging in right now to my blog So here we are on my blog right now so we're going to install a code we're going to install a plugin right now on my blog we're going to install a, a particular plugin so once you log into your blog then you go to plugin as you see it right here you go to plugin then you go to add new you click on add new i've installed the plugin already but i'm just showing you how to do this then you type code tracking manager code tracking manager As you can see here is the code okay tracking code manager you see it's already active on my blog as you can see right here tracking code manager this is what you should install in your blog on your sys page 
so it is already installed and active on my blog but your own this is going to look like let me show you okay this is it installed now if the code has not been stored your blog is going to show this way installed now but it has been stored already on my blog so what i'm going to do right now is go to my settings where the code where the plugin is go to my setting you see it right here tracking code manager then you click on it once you have installed it activated it then you go to settings you are going to see it on that settings you see i've installed some code here already i was actually running a google ad conversion you can see the code here you can see the code here you can also see my other facebook piece code right here and the code also is also here so what you're going to do when you want to add your facebook piece code what you're going to do right now is click on add new tracking code add new tracking code then you click on it Once you click on it, you can give it any name. Let's assume Facebook Pizu Secret. Facebook Pizu Guide. Then here is where you paste your code. The code you have copied, you paste it here. You see the code right here. So you paste it there. And don't forget that we are told to paste our code before header. And here's the header, so you should not change it. Here's the header. Show only on the show only on device or then where do you want to add this code? Where do you want to add it? Standard code tracking in your WordPress, track conversion in your e-commerce, then you click on standard standard code tracking in your website in which page do you want to is incite this code they say in the whole website page post and uh, in the whole website page in a specific page or post we click in the O. then once you have done that the next thing is click on save click on save to save your facebook piece of code on your website here we are it has been saved here here is the code as you can see it facebook piece of guide then you go back to your facebook page Here we are turn on automatic advanced matching turn it on yeah verify the customer information you want to send so then click on continue open event setup tools so you don't need all that go to piece overview you click on go to piece overview so at this stage you see that our facebook piezo have been successfully installed in your blog now that it has been stored already you are now allowed to run a profitable conversion ad with your facebook account so now everything is successfully done you can now run a profitable facebook ad on your facebook business page and you can now facebook can now add track the conversions and everything happening in your sys page or in your website and if anybody visit your sys page at the moment and the person did not purchase facebook will continue to follow that person so that is why it is very important to make sure you have this facebook piezo installed in your blog so that facebook can help you to follow those customers up 
so that you will not be missing those customers so guys this is actually how to set up a facebook a facebook puzzle in your blog and if you have a question for me concerning this tutorial don't forget to leave me a comment at the comment section down below and if there is any area you do not understand very well don't also forget to leave me a comment and i'll be so happy to answer your question and once again if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel subscribe to my youtube channel turn the notification bell to all so once upload other videos on my subsequent uploading then youtube will get to inform you of my new upload and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share it recommend it with your friends and let's make money together online so guys once again if you enjoyed this video don't forget to share it and subscribe to my youtube channel see you again and love you and bye bye